Hello, it's Mr. Jones. Hope you're fit and well at home. Today we've got a really epic workout called Lucky Dip. Will it be lucky or will it not? We're going to start off with our warm-up just by jogging on the spot. Getting our heart rate up slowly. If you've got any space to move around in the room where you are, just travel up and down slightly. Heel flex. High knees. Back to jogging. This time jog forward and touch the ground backwards. Touch the ground forward. Touch the ground. Smaller steps than you'd normally take and then reach down and touch down on the ground. Well done. Back to jogging. Hopping on one foot and change to the side. And yet again. What about hopscotch? Can you do hopscotch? What about changing to the other leading foot on the hopscotch? So I start on my right. What about your left? What about alternate? So left and right single. Oh, couldn't do it. <laughs> Back to jogging. Okay, arms in front of you, hold it, reach across the other side, hold it, arms up in the air, just lean to one side, back to the front, lean to the side, shoulders nice and relaxed, heel toes, heel forward, toes behind, back to jogging, so this workout, I've got 10 exercises, which I'll show you in a little while. For each exercise, there's gonna be an easy attempt at that exercise, or a hard attempt at the exercise. And that will be your lucky dip, which I'll explain in a little while. So the exercises, if I bring this closer to the screen, if you can see, we have, I'll explain all these and demonstrate them as we go through. We have skater, punches, burpee legs, star jumps, which we do in lots of our workouts, squats, plank taps, leg kicks, flutter kicks, tuck jumps, and bear crawls. Okay, so this is what's gonna happen. We have an easy column, and we have a hard column. This is how we determine which one is which. Because I have 10 different table tennis balls. Five white ones, which are the easy ones, nothing in there. So one, two, three, four, five. Five red ones, which are the hard colour. One, two, three, four, five. And I have one bonus blue. That is the forfeit. Now that could appear any time, or it might not appear. We'll see how we go. So that's going to go in there, and I'm going to put the lid on there. So I can give them a good old shake. And we're going to start off with the skater. Now skater is shoulder width apart and it's going to be side to side like that. Just bringing those arms up gradually, getting those legs bent as you go from side to side. That's skater, so that would be one, two, three, four. Okay, the easy would be to do 30. Still quite hard, but 30. If you get the red ball, it's going to be 50. So here we go. So if you're home, you can guess, is it going to be white, easy, red, more difficult, or blue, forfeit. Here we go. 
So I can't see. I'm going to close. Put my hand in there. I can't see what it is. I'm going to give you a shake. First one is red. So we're starting off with a difficult one. Put it on over there. Tick the red collar there. So hard, first of all. And we've got 50 skaters. So get yourselves ready. Here we go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, halfway, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, three, thirty-four, thirty-five. 36, 37, 38, 39, 10 more, come on. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. Whoa. That's one. Hold on down. The next one we've got. Punches. So here we got. We got one, two, three, four. Or we could go single day. One, two, three, four. You can even go in the air. One, two, three. You can vary your punches forwards, back, and even if you want to, to the side. So you can switch your punches. Easy, 50, hard, 100. Here we go. Give a little twist, take one out. It's easy, we have 50. So we got 50 punches. You can do any punches you want to, loosen up your shoulders, get ready. How about you count your own? You can do 50 punches. Here we go, and go. I'm varying my punches here. I've got 10 more to go. Done. Excellent. Next we have burpee legs. This is a tough one. So a burpee, as you know, is hands on the ground, legs straight out, back up. Sometimes you jump, sometimes you tap your head. Burpee legs is without getting back up. So it's down your plank position, and burpee legs is just both feet together in, both feet out. So it's in and then out. The easy is going to be 15. The difficult is going to be 30. And we've had one easy and one hard. So here we go. Easy. I'm glad for that. So we have an easy one there. And that is burpee legs. An easy one. And let's go. 15 burpee legs. So down into your plank position. Here we go. One, two, three. Bring those legs right out. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, five more to go. Come on, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifty. Well done. I'm glad that wasn't thirty. Okay, next one, familiar one for you all of you. Star jumps, easy, thirty, harder, sixty. So, still haven't had the blue bonus ball, and here we go. It's another hard one. We have to do 60 star jumps. Here we go, all together. Let's do it. Come on. 
nine, sixty. I know some of you are quicker than me in star jumps, as we've seen in the first star jump challenge in week one of the weekly challenges. So you might have had an extra rest now as well. So, next one, squats. Easy, 20 squats. Harder, 30 squats. And we've had two of each so far. Too easy, too hard. Still waiting for that blue ball. Here we go. It is easy. So we have 20 squats. Just remind yourselves when you do a squat, bring your arms out in front of you. Imagine you're sitting on a chair. Don't have your feet too close together. Have them shoulder width apart as you go down. Okay, so here we go. We have 20 squats. Let's do it. If you want to make it slightly harder, what you could do is do a squat jump. Okay, if you want to make it harder. So you can do 20 normal squats or squat jumps. So I'm going to go for squat jumps. So here we go. So get ready and go. One, two, three, four, five. Doing really well. Six, seven, eight, nine. Don't have to rush these. Ten. Keep going. Eleven. Over halfway. Twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Well done. Feel it burning and hip flexors there. So, that was our squats there. Next one is one we haven't done for a while, and it's a plank tap. Now, we've had our plank position before, so if you go into your plank position, and from there, you're going to tap on your shoulder. Just once, tap, bring the arm down on the ground again, tap. So you have to keep, really keep your core nice and, and controlled there. So it's tap, tap. Okay, so for easy version, it's 10. Harder version, it's 15. However, you have to go my speed for each of those. So let's, let's see what we're up to. Okay, three easy, two hard. Three. And it is, it's hard. Okay, so three of each for the moment. There we go. So we're doing 15 plank taps. So set yourself up for the plank position and go my speed. So hold yourself nice and straight. Back must be nice and straight from your shoulders all the way down to the back of your heels. So here we go. We're going to go up to do. 15 starting now. One, hold it. Two, three, keep it nice and straight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Don't give up. Nine, we can do it. Ten, almost there. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Well done. Okay, give your arms a bit of a shake there. That's our plank taps. Now, next one we have our leg kicks. The leg kick is basically, it's almost like a, a karate kick forward. You bring your legs up. There, so it's one, two, three. Or you can just go there and there. Here we go. So. It is... for 30 seconds. Now there's no opting out of this. Think of an animal that you would like to act out. Now it could be the one that Mr. Jones chooses, or it could be one of your favourite animals. You not only have to move around for 30 seconds like the animal, but if you know the animal's noise, you have to make that noise as well. Can't believe I'm doing this. Here we go, Mr. Jones. I am the chicken. Get ready. Three, two, one. And go! Come on,
which one am I? <laughs> oh, okay, never embarrassing myself like that again, I think. So, I was a chicken, I think I was quite um, an angry chicken, I think, by the sounds of it. Oh, at least that blue one's out of the way. Let's move on. So, we have leg kicks next. Get ready, here we go. And it is, it's an easy leg kick. Okay, let's go for it. So we have leg kicks. Set yourselves up, make sure you're not gonna kick into anything in front of you. Okay, remember, when you kick, just go as high as you can without hurting yourself there, and then you switch feet. So it's one, two. Okay, get ready. Have your arms up to balance if you want to. So we have easy 20. So it's 10 on each side, basically. Here we go, ready, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you want to do a little jog as well, you can do 11. 12, 13, 14, how high can you go? 15, I'll go and lie on my shoulders, 16, 17, 18, 19, one more, 20, good. You can almost do the karate kick one where you have to go. Okay, so that's that one done there, and that was our leg kicks there. Brilliant, okay. Next one are flutter kicks. A flutter kick is where you lie on the ground. Okay, straight black like that there. Lift up your legs and you just flutter your legs like that, up and down, up and down. So it's there and it's up and down, up and down. Really holding your stomach muscles nice and tense. So, for flutter kicks, we have to do, it's not numbers each time, because it's quite quick, it's seconds. So easy is 30 seconds, harder, 45 seconds. Here we go. And it is. It's easy. We have 30 seconds of flutter kicks. That's all the easy ones done. Oh, I almost don't need to choose um, the next two, because we know they're going to be the hard ones, but we'll just double check anyway. So flutter kicks, 30 seconds, lie down, legs straight up, and start to flutter them. If you can keep your legs straight as well as you go up and down, you don't have to go very quick, and you're just above the ground. Don't be too high, okay? So you want to tense that stomach muscle there, feel them tense up. Keep going, 10 seconds to go. That's it, well done. Okay, right. Tuck jumps, oh, these are hard. I already know what's coming. There's no point. We know it's a red one. Let's put that there. So a tuck jump is 20 of these. So if we had easy, it would have been 10. So it's basically lifting those knees right up when you jump. Okay, so swinging those arms as you go up. So it's 20, let's get these done. Come on everybody, let's go. One, two. Three, four, five, those arms, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, halfway, eleven, twelve, come on everybody, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, come on, sixteen, I'm tiring, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, oh, okay. That's that one done. Last exercise. It's a bear crawl. So it's where it's difficult. A bear crawl here. It's going to be almost like a plank position. But it's going to be going forward. One, three, four, five, maybe and back. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we have to do 16 of these. So you have forwards and back 16 times. This is quite a tough challenge. If you need to rest a point, any point, please do. So here we go, 16. So when you get back to this position, the starting position, that counts as one. Okay, let's do it, 16. Last exercise, we can do it, let's go. 
One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Keep going. Six. I think I need a rest here. Six there. Come on, everybody. Seven. Halfway. Come on. Eight. Nine. Ten. Six more. Come on, we can do it. I'm tired, but we can do this. Eleven. Twelve. Four more. Thirteen. Fourteen. Come on. Fifteen. One more. And done. Well done, everybody. That was probably the hardest for me, anyway, of all the exercises there. So, in the short amount of time you've been working out, you've worked lots of different types of muscles. You raised your heart rate. You might feel a bit uh, warmer. Your breathing might be quicker. But that's a sign that you've exercised well, and it's good for your body. We're going to finish off now with a few stretches. So, bring your arm across your body. Bring it underneath. And change. Over your shoulder. Switch. Can you hold one leg, one arm? Now put your arm out in front. Hold it, can you balance? Can anybody touch the ground and back up and still have that control, ba Whoa, control balance? Can anybody do that with their eyes closed? Oh, not quite. Change feet. So get your balance. Arm out in front normally steadies you. Touch the ground. Whoa. Can I do it with my eyes closed? Here we go. Oh, not quite. I was close though. Anyway, okay, back with hurdles. Change. One more. Hold your nose underneath, hold your ear, and swap. 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 Did you get caught out? Thank you for watching. Keep fit, keep safe, all the best. Bye bye.